Okay, it's Wednesday, 11.20, and I guess you can tell where I'm heading back to, the Northern Station, to continue to follow up on their Byzantine, bureaucratic, bureaucratic ways of, you know, parsing stuff out to a, a totally failing uh, methodology. Uh, it, is, it is a beautiful game, you know, designed never to be accountable and never to succeed. But the difference is, when you turn over every stone and prove it, you know, there's no longer any question. When you remove what is impossible, no matter how improbable, the truth reveals itself. And the truth is that they don't care, that their system, systems are set to fail, and there is no accountability. Now, mind you, I am here today to continue to follow up on the case for 5113, my complaint about the sheriff's deputy's brutal assault to which they have not taken a statement. I've been in repeatedly to see Mr. Ortega and he has not taken my statement in the public place. Which once again begs the question, if they're concerned about justice, law, and order, whether they want to be transparent and accountable and clear to the victim so that, you know, the process can be carried out with transparency or do they want to get you into a rigged methodology behind closed doors so that I've told you before they can fix the intelligence, and if you want anything, you've got to basically sue them th through discovery to get anything. It's a wonderful, corrupt system. However, I'm here to expose it. The second thing I'm also here for is to, you know, point out to you, you know, what I told the people at Legal uh, just a few videos ago regarding the LGBT liaison, and of course, that person in Legal didn't seem to know what, it, what I was talking about, and I needed to be more specific. Now, mind you, this is the San Francisco Police Department, which is supposed to be trained for disability training, etc., etc. Now, in the case that I was speaking about with Mr. Ortega, that case number is 13049-9597, which is the police report number that I'm still following up on, and mind you, I still want to follow another police report for the fraudulent illegal 5150 that was perpetrated on me at this police station to which of course legal has responded and told me that they don't you know make the policies for the San Francisco Police Department that it's DTIS when I went to DTIS they told me that that was untrue the reason that they don't probably want to give me the policies is because the policies would say the cameras must record which would show the illegal 5150 portrayed upon me it's a beautiful illusion. The cover-up is, is real and ongoing. And mind you, uh, the uh, medical records that I requested and the, the videotapes, the policies, this was all done under sunshine for an immediate disclosure request. And, you know, it's now two months later. Uh, also, please note that I have requested a hearing in front of the Sunshine to hold them accountable for official misconduct so that you can learn how that game is played and how that's a continual failure also. So here I am at the police station, naturally following up. You saw what happened when I came here last time. 30 minutes, 40 minutes went by without any help, just being played. Let's see if they do the same thing today to continue to prove the rigged and unaccountable methodology. <laughs> Hello? Hello, how are you? At least one of us is. Okay. I'm here for Mr. Ortega to, you know, continue to give my statement in his rigged methodology. I will see you then. That's wonderful. Now, mind you, this is 11:20 Wednesday, and it is Let me point out the sign that I told you about earlier. LGBT safe zone. This police station is designed, is designated a safe zone by the chief of the San Francisco Police Department and the captain in command of this station. At all times, LGBT individuals will be treated with respect, compassion, and honesty. <coughs> Asked to speak with the LGBT liaison officer. Let's see what that gets us. Now mind you, I still haven't gotten 
the videos, nor the policies, you know, that I was sent, that I requested from legal regarding the cameras in all San Francisco police stations. And you saw, obviously, what I get when I try to go in and follow up with Ms. Conifree, then at San Francisco Legal 850, the Hall of <coughs> Justice. You know, I, I believe there was a saying that says, you know, with, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. Well, it's obvious no one is responsible. Sergeant Artiga is gone for the day. Would you like his phone number to give him a call? No, I'll continue to come in. He has all my information. Ask him to follow up with me, which I believe is the correct procedure. But, you know, when there's no accountability, you know, how long have I been videotaping now? And how long will I continue? I'll continue until it's fixed, which means, I guess, forever at this point. But I'm pretty sure it's not your problem. Also, I'm here to see your LGBT liaison officer. Because I want to issue another police report, you know, and I want to tell the officer and bring him in on, you know, this person up to date about how the system is set to fail, show him the other past failures and why it's set to fail, and go from there so that I can get some respect, compassion, and what was that last thing? Honesty. So, may I please speak with your LGBT liaison officer? I'll see you then. Of course. <laughs> Shall we see how much, you know, the LGBT officer is up to snuff to doing things correctly or whether they're not just part of the rigged methodology? More illusion, more more, you know, icing on this fake cake. As I've said before and many times, meaningless words will not obscure the truth. Now, mind you, uh, you know, Officer Ortega is not in. And if you go back and you look at the videos, you'll see how often I came in to give him my statement, how often, you know, I was incorrectly handled. And it'll just probably lead you further to speculate as to how often this will continue since there is no accountability. Mind you, this is San Francisco's finest, the 14th largest city, you know, in the country.
Now, mind you, if you look at the past videos, you'll see how often I tried to get, you know, follow up from the captain to point out the rig methodology and how long I've been played by even the captain at this station, which has never responded nor afforded me the correct opportunity to escalate. It's a beautiful, lovely illusion. One thing I do want you to know for the record is that when I sunshined, you know, the San Francisco Police Department, I sunshined uh, the chief of police, uh, the um, captain here, um, and other people that I was supposed to sh sunshine, you know, lead the person in legal, et cetera, et cetera, for, you know, the policies and everything else on the video cameras. Now, you know, since it's been a delay and since I've not been treated properly, it now falls upon <coughs> the Ministry of Sunshine to basically deal with, you know, all the illegalities, the, the broken ordinance, and of course the game playing, you know, unclean hands and bad faith of incorrect information from legal, which of course at this point <coughs> is not even affording me <clears throat> the opportunity to hold them accountable when I come in, because I can come in with their paperwork and everything and show them not only, you know, the incorrect stuff, but the abuse that I've been submitted to. And of course, naturally videotape it, something they don't want the public to know. Still waiting for the LGBT uh, liaison officer. You know, when you have a policy or when you have something listed, you know, you would think that they would have the integrity for it to work. But the illusions continue, folks, just like everything else here that I've proven to you. What is the consequence? More pay for their paychecks? Better retirement? Off to the next victim? Mm. Well, we're quickly approaching the 15 minute mark here on this video. How long does it take, you know, to find the LGBT liaison officer? It's an interesting question. Okay, we don't have a specific officer assigned as an LGBT liaison. Oh, color me surprised. So it's not true then, what's here in the window. Pardon me? For the right, so it's not true because you don't have a specific assigned LGBT liaison officer. Of course, correct. It's another farce, it's another game, it's another illusion. Oh, your silence is golden, madam. How's the pay? For everything that I've received so far, which you've been a witness to. No comment? That's okay, I'll continue to come in and videotape and not only show the, the malfeasance, the inhumanity, and the fact that people will continue to get paid in a corrupt system, you know, which is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Serve and protect whom? So that's, that, that's your response. Walk away when you're incorrect. Isn't it a beautiful, beautiful world? Thank you. Illusion, delusion, the usual for the San Francisco unaccountable, unethical, and immoral police department. I will continue, mind you. It is now 
you know, Wednesday, November 20th, and the games are continuing.